Good morning, predictors. Last week, we looked at how to participate in the prediction market on Zeitgeist. Today, let's see how we can create our very own prediction market. Click on Create Market and start filling in the fields. Give it a name, state your question, select some tags, specify an end date, and choose your outcomes. Three options are available to you. Yes, no is straightforward and is used for questions that can be answered by yes or no, one or zero, black or white, you get the idea. Options grants you more granularity and allows you to specify more than one outcome. And finally, range, which is a scalar prediction market. Participants are to bet long or short, depending on their predictions and the current share price. While the mechanism deserves a video on its own, the base principle is that participants will be able to redeem their assets for a value between 0 and 1 ZTG, proportional to where the resolve outcome lies along a specified range. If the outcome resolves to a number below or above range, however, assets will be redeemable for 1 or 0 ZTG, depending on whether participants went long or short. Irrespective of your choice, here are a few guiding principles to determine your outcomes. Outcomes should be mutually exclusive, meaning no two outcomes may occur at the same time. There must be an option for every possible outcome. And finally, a catch-all option is a healthy practice to account for unpredictability. By default, the creating account will be the oracle, meaning you will be responsible for submitting the outcome when the market ends. Some penalty applies if the oracle fails to submit the outcome, so be careful. The market description section is there for you to add any additional information. Make sure you specify the source you will use for outcome resolution and try to account for special use cases. Lastly, you can choose to create your market permissionless or advised. An advised market is cheaper, but will go through a review process to determine whether your proposal falls within the established rules and guidelines. A permissionless market, on the other hand, costs more, but can be created without approval, which does not mean it will not be reviewed later on. Ambiguous and otherwise harmful market will be removed and bonds will be lost. Irrespective of the type of market you choose, it is strongly recommended you start a discussion thread on Zeitgeist's Discord channel Market Advice before creating it in the app. You can also choose to deploy a liquidity pool by toggling that last option button. That's it for now. See you next week for another tutorial.